Okay, so we're in lumber nirvana here, guys. So we're here today uh, in South Jersey, just looking at lumber. Different patterns and grains and species of lumber everywhere. We've got Lori and Larry's table that we're selecting the lumber for today. We think we've narrowed it down. So check out what we're looking at here. We've got all sorts of, we've got walnuts, and we've got maples, We've got giant slabs. Imagine the size of the tree that came out of. Look at this walnut slab. It's actually sold. Look at that giant, huge piece. Just beautiful woods everywhere we look. So look at the grain in this. Totally intriguing, right? Wow, just absolutely gorgeous. Anyhow, so we think we've narrowed down our choices. And we're going to show you what we did. So follow us into the other building. And here we are. We're in Trenton today. We're at the Willard Brothers Woodcutter Supply. And uh, come on in here with us. This is what we've narrowed down. Check it out, terrific facility. Really well organized, we really love it here. Informative staff. And here's where we are. So we sort of slipped into the exotics because we're looking for something super terrific for this table, right? We've got a bit of a creative free hand on it and we've narrowed it down to this olive wood here. Check that out. So it's Mediterranean in origin, and these live edge pieces here are the ones we're gonna be looking at. And then we've got tamarind over here, which is a fantastic wood also out of Africa. Check out the grain in this, it looks so great. So we're thinking that we're gonna center the table in two or three boards of the select most impressive looking grain out of probably three of these olive wood boards. So we'll sandwich those together, probably throw a couple of decorative butterflies, maybe out of, uh, carved, out of uh, carved into a bird as opposed to your typical uh, butterfly. So we're gonna add some creative bits to that as well. You'll know why later. And again, apron it, apron the table. So the table's gonna be, hey, Laura. So, so we're going to uh, consider using the tamarind as our apron because we think the contrast is going to be great. As a matter of fact, we may even dovetail the edges into it together so you get a bit of that tamarind coming up top, going over uh, the olive wood. So I think that could be a terrific combination. Uh, the client did request a bit of a lighter color table uh, than what they have now. So uh, we think this is going to fit the bill. Anyway. Uh, this is your update. This is the stage one of the construction of Lori and Larry's table and uh, glad you were a part of it.